we are going to see a recruitment from Bharat Electronics Limited or BEL. Okay, so if you have at least one year of experience, I would suggest you to watch this video till the end. Otherwise, you can skip this video. Okay, so there is a recruitment happening from BEL Machili Patnam of Andhra Pradesh state and they are recruiting for five categories of post. So let us see the post details, the qualification details, the selection procedure and also the application procedure. Everything we are going to see in this video. Okay. So the first thing we are going to see is the post details. The first post is trainee officer or translator post that is having one vacancy. Okay. Then second post is project engineer electronics with four vacancy. Third post is project engineer mechanical with two vacancy. Fourth one is project engineer civil with one vacancy. Fifth one is project officer HR with one vacancy. So these are the post and the respective vacancy details. Now moving on to the qualification. For the first post which is trainee officer come translator. It is actually uh, looking for a Hindi translator. Okay, So you should be having a master degree in Hindi that is the qualification you are requiring plus one year of experience okay you should be having a master's in hindi plus one year experience for the next post that is project engineer electronics you should be having a b or b tech or bsc in electronics or electronics and communication engineering or electronics and telecommunication plus two years of experience okay then third one project engineer mechanical the qualification is b or b tech or bsc in mechanical is the qualification plus two years of experience fourth one is civil project engineer qualification you should be having is b b tech or bsc in civil engineering plus two years of experience last one is project officer hr and the qualification you should be having is mba with HR specialization or you should be having a MSW. So that is the qualification details for the first category or the first post that is translator translator post. You should be having only one that is you require only one year of experience. But for the all other posts you require two years of experience. Okay. They have also mentioned that what class you should be having for your qualifying examination. So if you are belonging to general or OBC category, then you should require a first class in the BE, BTEC or BSc or the respective qualifying examination. Okay, you should be having a first class. But if you belong to SCST category, you only require a pass class. Okay, so that is the specific qualification you are requiring and also plus experience. Next is the age limit. For the translator post, the age limit is 25 years. And for the all other posts, the age limit, that is the maximum age limit is 28 years is the age limit. Okay. And also there is age relaxations given to the all reserved categories as per reservation rules of government of India. Okay. Then moving on to the salary details. So before telling the salary details, this post are for three years and for four years. That is the first post, which is for the translator. It is for a three year. It can be extendable, but it is uh, given in the notification that it is for three years. Then all the other post is for four years and also for per year, how many salary, how much salary they are uh, going to offer. They have mentioned. Okay. So moving on to the salary details for the translator post for the first year, you'll be getting 25,000 per month. Then for the second year, you'll be getting 28,000 per month. For the third year, you'll be getting 31,000 per month. So that is the salary details for the translator post. Then for the all other post, the salary is for the first year it is 35,000 per month. Second year it is 40,000 per month. Third year it is 45,000 and for fourth year it is 50,000. Even if it is for four years, the salary is very, very good. And also the organization is a very good organization. So if you are interested, please do go through the notification and please do apply for it as soon as possible. Okay. Now, so that is the salary details. Next, we are going to see about the selection procedure. Okay, so the selection procedure is there is only interview that to a video conferencing based interview is there. There is no examination. Okay, so they have given the weightage like this. For your qualifying examination, 
the weightage given is 75 percentage when i when i'm saying the qualifying examination it means that for your b or btech or bsc how much mark you are getting for that there is a 75 percentage weightage given then for the experience that you are having the weightage given is 10 percentage and for the interview which you have to attend the weightage given is 15 percentage so that is the total selection procedure there is no written examination there is only interview okay and the application procedure is if you go to the bl carrier page you will get uh, the post that is the notification you will be getting and below that notification that is the advertisement you will get a link for directly apply in that you have to click you have to enter all all your details your uh, experience certificate your b or b tech certificate everything you have to upload and your photo and everything you have to keep uh, in a scan format and you have to upload okay so that is the application procedure now there is also fees for applying for the translator or the trainee post the fees is 200 rupees and for the project engineer the fees is 500 rupees okay so that is the fee details and the last date for applying is 3rd of december so the last date is 3rd of december there is two weeks time but don't wait till that please to apply for it as soon as possible first go through the notification if you think that you are eligible please to apply for it as soon as possible and if you found the video useful please to give it a thumbs up please to share it with your friends and if you want more videos please to subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and keep on watching